Welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show, brought to you by the great folks at COMC, Central Ozarks Medical Center, where your health is their mission. We have got probably the most popular guy in the state of Missouri, maybe behind the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. uh, he's had a few big wins lately, but it's Coach Gary Pinkle, uh, all-time winningest coach at Mizzou, uh, great football coach. and. Thank you for taking the time to come by and join us. I know how busy you are, so it's uh, it's uh, great to have you here at Lake TV, as always. And you've been busier than normal because you've been going into a whole bunch of new Hall of Fames here in the last couple Great, of crazy years. Year. Crazy crazy yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, okay, so in addition to all the Hall of Fames you were in before, you go into the College Football Hall of Fame in 22, and then the Cotton Bowl Hall of Fame in 23. So... Uh, Man, this has got to be feeling pretty good, getting all of these yeah. honors and everything. Also, at the University of Missouri Hall of Fame, I had to do that. And I had okay. to go back to Toledo. Had to do that. Well, because the Toledo one is tied in with the Missouri for the, for the, the Hall of Fame. Right. Know? And so I, they, they did presentations. They did things at games there. So a lot of things happened fast period of time. And just it was overwhelming, to be honest with you. Yeah. It, it was overwhelming. So do you have to come up with a new speech for every Hall of Fame induction and stuff like that? No, I, I don't do that at all. <laughs> just got to tell you what's on my heart. You know, at the end of the day, that's what we do. But it, it, was a, it started in January of, of 22. And what happened was I, I had a box in front of our, the door at my house. Okay. Got done working out, saw it when I left, and it's still sitting there, which I, I don't think my wife would get it. So I got the box, took it in. Uh, Missy, uh, owner of LO Profile, I want right. to mention that too. Uh -huh. uh, I look at it and say, this is just a football, because people send me footballs, and I just sign them, I send them back to them. You do that? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just, to, okay. yeah, it's the least I can do for those. And so I thought, that's what it is. I opened it up, and I kind of looked at it, and it looked strange. And it just looked, you could see the ends, and there was a big card in there. And I got a copy of it here because, uh, you know. It, so this was kind of, in so with the This football. was in, laying on t right on top. Uh -huh. but, it, but there was an envelope on it. There was not, you could not see all that's on the football itself. Because, uh -huh. you know, that's a, it's a, a, it's a great memorable piece of yeah. uh, information for them. Okay, so this is what it goes. Of the 5.54 million who have played and coached college football since 1869, only 1,038 players and only 223 coaches have been inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. And it said, welcome to the club. And I just, I mean, I lost it. I mean, I never had a goal to go into this. Wow. Uh, you have to win, a, you have to do a lot of good things to be able to get into it. Yeah. It was, it was, I mean, it was remarkably overwhelming. I, I run back, my wife's taking a shower. I run back, I run right in the shower. And I and I she goes she thought something bad happened right. initially because she goes what's what's wrong what's wrong because I had tears in my eyes and everything and I said read this I wanted to read it just am I in the shower <laughs> just tell me what's going on here and so she read it and then she screams and uh, so it's like the, it's like you know if you're coaching it's like the greatest honor you can ever have yeah and it's uh, representative of a lot of different things we we'll talk about later about that a lot of different people have a lot to do with this. Wow, I'm tearing up just hearing yeah. the story, man. Yeah. That is absolutely. Are, now, are you an emotional guy? Do you get emotional very easily? Yeah, I, I think so. I think in personal things, you know, yeah. like my, my players and you know, my uh, my family and stuff like that. Um, but uh, you know, this was just. In, and by the way, it just it, it, what happened. This, that was in January, December sixth is when the presentation was. Right. Uh, in Las Vegas. And we had a bunch of things going on, and, and I went to the University of Missouri Hall of Fame that that year. And I mean, just a lot of things that were going on. And it was, um, but I'll tell you, it was one of the greatest things ever. And I'm missing, I'll try to go to it every year now. Yeah. Uh, you know, just be a part of it. You know, they they want you to be there and, and root the next thirteen or fourteen people on. Kind of living the dream, right? I yeah. Mean, yeah. Did you ever think about that when you were coaching on the sideline? Gosh, I, you know, it would be great to be in the Hall of Fame. I wonder, did that even cross your mind? I'm too focused on today. You right. Because if my players and my coaches, that's all we need every day. We don't need to be looking in here, looking in here, doing these things. And so, no, I didn't. I never in, a, in the wildest dreams. I thought I'd go into the uh, Missouri Hall of Fame yeah. like I did the Toledo Hall of Fame because I was winning as coach in both places. Yeah. So I thought that. But I never thought I would get this. Yeah. I never thought in a million years. And, and so and I got to say this, that this is, this is uh, most important about all this as we see this unfold, that this is not about Gary Pinkle as much as it is about all the people that are around me. Yeah. My coaches, all a part of it, my players, 
uh, uh, friends, family, everybody that we're all like this and we were the ones that stayed together, battled through all the battles to have things like this come up. Yeah. And so it was, uh, you know, I've, my greatest thing in my life, and I've said it before in interviews, you've seen it, I've always been surrounded by good people my whole life. And I'm not making it up. It's true. It's just, it's just true. And it's, it's, and it's really a blessing. You know, and th but that's a key, not just in coaching, certainly in coaching, but also in business. I mean, the most successful people are the people who surround themselves with good people. Yes, yes. Right. And, and you create an infrastructure to make sure you t change behavior positively yeah. as much as you can so that we're all working for excellence. Yeah. And that's the challenge of leadership. Wow. And it was a lot of pressure too. And uh, that's why I do a lot of speaking on, on teamwork and things like that, which I, I, I enjoy. Well, and we talked about it uh, just a few minutes ago before we started the show that coaching is, I mean, it's not just a normal job. It takes so much time, so many hours in season that you know you you have to have the right kind of a family because the family is def definitely second chair to the job especially when it comes to coaching families are an important part of that because uh they have to kind of put up with that too right so yeah and that's why i think we got to the place that we were going to you know nine bowls in 10 years yeah and one of the greatest things to see the families enjoy going to the bowl game right i'd always stay like coach james did since stay in ten, uh, seven eight days we'd say 13 or 14. wow because i wanted to reward all the families you know for all that they've sacrifices that they've made and that's that's something that um you know i changed i made some other changes after technology got better i got coaches i used to work on sunday night when i was at washington my last you know position coaching job uh for the great don james I had to, we, we had to, we had to work till noon, till uh, midnight on Sunday. We went from seven in the morning till 10 o'clock on Tuesday, uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I mean, you, 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 I didn't see my kids say goodnight to them. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's just our business. That's part of the but job. But I've changed that a little bit. I got my guys home at nine, or at, excuse me, at seven o'clock. Wow. And, because technology is so much better. Right. We have things in our, in our hands. That, that we can do by pressing buttons. And right. when Nick Saban and I were well, graduate assistants at Kent State, you know, we, we had to do all this stuff with handwritten and little typewriters. And <laughs> doing In all the this office. Stuff, you know? So we always, we always talk, talk about how these, these coaches now got it made, man, just press buttons and all these stats come up and yeah. everything else. And yes, he did just name drop Nick Saban, you guys. Yeah, we were captains, yeah. we were in captains together. He was, he's easier older than me. Um, we went to school at the University of uh, Kent State University, yeah, and uh, only championship in the history, history of, the, of the university. And a guy named Don James, uh, and Don James, you know, had a huge impact on him. He says talks about it all the time, and certainly for me, without question, no that, doubt. he's been yeah. he's been uh, you know, very fortunate. All right, so we're talking with Coach Gary Pinkle, uh, Hall of College Football Hall of Famer. He's about ten different Hall of Fames now, or more. So we'll keep talking with Coach Pinkle here on the Spotlight Show right after this. At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center offers pediatrics at two lake locations and three OBGYNs at the Osage Beach Clinic, offering same-day appointments. At COMC, our doors are open to everyone, whether you live at the lake or just here visiting. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the polar plunge, to festivals, parades, aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootouts. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've gotta love Lake TV. Welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show brought to you by the great folks at COMC. We're talking with Coach Gary Pinkle, College Football Hall of Famer. He's in about a dozen Hall of Fames now. Uh, several of them in the last couple of years, uh, including the College Football Hall of Fame and the uh, Cotton Bowl Hall of Fame and the Mizzou Hall of Fame. Um, okay, so uh, the Cotton Bowl. So you were talking earlier, you went to like nine bowls in 10 years, I think, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So you're you're inducted into the Cotton Cotton Bowl Hall of Fame. You played in two Cotton Bowls. I think you won them both. Yeah, we started 2007 was our first one, and that's that 2007 group of guys that are, did we, we. It's a big game in in Kansas City when we beat Kansas. Yeah, at the I stadium remember that. Yeah. There, Mark Weed, and so uh, we went to the Cotton Bowl in that game, and uh, Tony Temple has still the record for the Cotton Bowl, 237 yards or something. It was what it's ridiculous. He still has it. Right. And that was a huge win for us, and so. The Cotton Bowl, so it was one of the great bowls uh, in this in all of college football. Yeah, and so um, it was it was great for our football program. And then you fast forward it to 2013. We play again in 2014. We play again. Yeah, and so you know, 13 team and the seven team are teams that uh, they graduated that, that ended up being uh, top five. So we were fifth in in, in 13, and in 2007 uh, we were fourth. Then you beat Indonesia. Arkansas and Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, State in yeah. those two yeah. games. Big games. Oh, and, and great programs. Yes. I mean, these were le yeah. legitimate wins. Was that at the old Cotton Bowl or the new Cowboys? Well, State? the neat thing about it, the first one was the old. Yeah. And the second one, we stepped up a little bit. So, And it's amazing how that stadium is so oh. – I think it's AT&T Stadium, yeah. I think that they call yeah. it. Jerry uh, Wilde. Yeah. yeah, and it was just – it's just amazing. And uh, so they did – you know, they invited us down. And they had myself. The Mannings were there, which I, I've met them at other places. Uh, and so that's that was neat to have those guys around there too, but it was really a, a great honor to be a part of it. And yeah. uh, Tony Temple actually came in. I saw and that. We were both in. Yeah. Because the I don't know if it'll ever be broken his his record. So yeah. Um, it's a, it's a great business as long as you win. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the losing is the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's for sure. So that Jerry World, the the, the AT and T Stadium. This, it looks like a spaceship. It looks like it could just take off at any moment, you know. Oh, it's uh, it's amazing, and how they, you know, the different bowls put on different things to help families and help all the players, and that's the that's talking earlier conversation about how we're gone so much. Yeah, that's the reward. Yeah. Stay there 13 days, okay? We have to plan ourselves. We're ready to play that game, and uh, that's that's just uh, there are two great great historic bowl games and. Uh, and, and I'm a part of it, you know, I can go to any one of those games. They'll, they'll bring you down, coach, and any time. Right. That kind of thing. It's good when to be you're, you. When you're in, <laughs> you're in. So, uh, Do you remember any of the bowl games? We're down to the last couple minutes already, but uh, any of the bowl games that stick out as maybe your favorite bowl game from over the years or anything, or do they all kind of run together? Oh, I, I think, it, you know, it's hard to pick favorites in my business, thank heavens. No, our first, our first four years were brutal. I mean, and we finally – Got to our fourth game, and then we lost our bowl game, and uh, I think it was in Louisiana. And so, uh, you know, we you, you go back and you kind of just keep working to make things better, and so on and so forth. But you know, the the importance of of winning those stamp your program and, and what it, what it'll be someday. And unfortunately, for us, it's um, it, it, it's it's huge. Yeah, we'll talk about it in another show, but. After coaching, you started out a foundation called uh, GP Ma uh, GP Made Foundation. GP Made Foundation, where you help out kids in need in the state of Missouri, and I mean huge numbers here: um, three hundred fifty thousand dollars to organizations that battle cancer, uh, cancer and disabilities, and overcoming poverty. More for scholarships. I think that's even more. That's like it's sixty-two scholarships, I believe. Yeah, now. up to about a half million dollars. Yeah. I mean. Uh, it's just a huge organization, and you're helping so many kids. So you're using your coaching fame, your coaching success to do good here. Uh, I, that's got to feel good, too. Yeah, well, there's, uh, there's no question about that. I was, uh, I was just one month after, two minutes after I retired. Uh, she looked at me one morning. I was having coffee. She goes, you okay? I said, fine. She goes, well, what's wrong? I said, I miss my players. And I'm going to tell you one thing. <laughs> My players would say, that. they would say, well, coach, the way you treated us sometimes, I don't think, uh, you know, we don't miss you at all. So uh, at the end of the day, but I missed them. Because when you came in our program, and anyone will tell you this because it's the truth, it wasn't about just winning. You have to win to keep your job. I have a responsibility as I go on every one of those kids home with their parents to go in their house, yeah. see how they're brought up and things like that. I have the responsibility to make sure that these guys grow as young men, you know, 
how, how you treat women, how you take, be kind to people. Yeah. How, I can go on and on with all those things. And that's something that so we really did in our, in our uh, organization. Oh, no doubt about it. Look up GP Made Foundation. It's awesome. Coach Pinkle, thank you so much. We'll do more shows with Coach Gary Pinkle to learn more about him and what GP Made is up to and all of that good stuff. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. Hey!